Well, after a long dry spell, some raindrops out there, Allison, to start out our weekend. <laughs> I know. I mean, what else can you say? We had we were so lucky with our weather mm -hmm. for the past couple of weeks, and it's all in due time that now we're getting all this rain coming through the area this week. All good things must come to an end. <laughs> Very true. All right, let's go ahead and get right into that forecast. We do have a cold front off to our west still. And we are looking at that front just continuing to progress towards the east here in Hazard. It's basically just knocking on Kentucky's door right now, just just barely off to the west of Kentucky. And it doesn't stop there. This front is actually extending all the way down to Texas. And Texas is actually seeing quite a bit of rain right now. They're actually under flash flood warnings and even some tornado watches. But as far as eastern Kentucky goes, things here are on the calm side because most of our rain is just pretty scattered in nature, which is what we're expecting to see for the next couple of hours. But then later on tonight, that is going to change. Our rain chances are going to be more widespread. Temperatures right now, upper 60s for most, 69 in Monticello, 68 in London, and 67 over in Jackson. And throughout the rest of the night, here's what I'm talking about. We're sticking with the cloud cover, and we're also sticking with the scattered showers. But later tonight, around 9 o'clock, this cold front is going to be knocking on our door, especially our far northwestern counties, and then it's just going to continue to progress throughout eastern Kentucky. Now, some of these showers could be on the heavier side. We could be seeing some heavier rain throughout the night tonight, possibly even a rumble of thunder. But for the most part, I'm just expecting some widespread rain moving throughout the area, and it's actually going to stick around throughout the morning hours as well. So as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning, Looks like you might want to bring the rain jacket because these rain chances are just going to stick around through much of the morning and then even into the early afternoon hours. And then throughout the evening on Sunday, most of our rain is just going to be scattered in nature, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if we started to dry out by tomorrow evening and we were just dealing with cloudy skies. Now come Monday, cloudy skies will be much of the game for the morning and then by the afternoon we're looking at the chance of some scattered showers possible. And then Tuesday, more rain is possible in the area. Now as far as our rain totals for this weekend go, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to nearly an inch possible. London is sitting at about an inch possible of rainfall, so we are looking at anywhere from a quarter of an inch to an inch possible. Now over the next 12 hours, things are going to be rather rainy, and if you're not seeing any showers, well, don't expect to see the sunshine because our skies are just going to stay pretty cloudy throughout the day tomorrow as well. But you can really start to see the effects of this cold front moving through the area because our high is going to be nearly 10 degrees below what we saw today. We saw a high of 70 degrees today in most areas, and we're only looking at a high of 62 for tomorrow. So things are going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, and they're actually going to stay pretty cool throughout the rest of the week as well. Monday, like I said, just a scattered chance of showers for the afternoon, but then Tuesday, things start to ramp up a little bit. We have a low coming in from actually the southwest, and it's going to progress up towards here in eastern Kentucky. And with that does come the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms Tuesday afternoon through Tuesday night and even through Wednesday morning as well. And also the possibility of some pretty strong winds. So we are keeping an eye on that situation. As of right now, things don't look too bad, but like I said, we are keeping an eye on that. But once that clears out, we finally start to see the sunshine again. So Thursday, we're looking at a better chance of seeing some sun. And then Friday, cooler temperatures and Plenty of sunshine to go around, so some pretty gorgeous conditions to look forward to after we see all the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lot stormier than we've seen the past week or so. Yes, for sure. Keeping us busy, Allison, thanks. <laughs> no Straight ahead in sports, the Kentucky Wildcats on the road tonight. Here from Mark Stoops about one key player that needs to continue to produce on the field.